Today on BrewBQ, we are making buffalo turkey. I know what you're thinking, it's not chicken. Buffalo chicken, buffalo turkey, it's like a bigger chicken, right? So we're gonna spatchcock this thing, throw it on the yoder. It's gonna come out amazing. Let's get to it. All right, first things first, let's get started on this basting sauce that's gonna go on this turkey here. Uh, we've got, it wouldn't be buffalo sauce without buffalo hot sauce. So we've got two thirds cups, Frank's going in. We've got two tablespoons apple cider vinegar a tablespoon of coconut aminos. We're gonna go with a whole stick of butter because why not, it's butter. So that's going in. We basically want this on a low. We're just gonna simmer this gently, kind of mix everything together. We've got two tablespoons black pepper. We got one tablespoon of this stuff. Slap your mama. So that's going in, it's like a Louisiana Creole seasoning. That's going in, and then like a teaspoon of red chili flakes. Last but not least, we got the juice of two lemons. Now that everything's in, we're just gonna keep stirring this until the butter melts, take it off the heat, let it cool down a little bit, and then we'll be ready to use it. All right, let's get to this turkey. We're gonna spatchcock this thing. So basically what we're doing is we're gonna cut out the backbone so we can lay this thing flat. So we've got this here. I highly suggest a good pair of uh, meat shears, poultry shears, whatever these are. All we're doing here is we're taking the backbone and we're going right along and cutting all the little bones off of it. got huh, almost detached here so now that we got the backbone out that's great for stocks you know stews whatever you're using you want some extra flavor that'd be great for that we got the backbone out here we flip it over you just kind of lean on the chest here and it'll spread out and basically what that's gonna do is it's just gonna create a lot more surface area for when we're cooking it it won't take quite as long so now that the bird is ready Let's get this thing seasoned a little bit. Here we go. I'm always a huge fan of making sure that you get seasoning up under the skin here. So we're gonna work the skin off of the breast a little bit. Just get your hands up in there. I guess it should be stating the obvious here. I am washing my hands in between everything, as always with, with the poultry, any meats really. You really need to wash your hands, make sure that everything's clean. So we just got some olive oil here. We're gonna drizzle this over the top, get it inside these breasts here. Massage everything in. going to use some of that slappy mama seasoning kind of stick with the theme here do just a light this stuff's pretty salty so you don't want to go kind of too heavy-handed with it and we'll get some in our hand and get this up onto the breast as well all right this is just like a little base layer that that way we have a little bit of flavor on the actual turkey most of it's going to be coming from that basting sauce that we made so uh, let's get this thing out on the uh, yoder and get to it Okay, so here we are. We got the Yoder YS640 up to 350 right now. There's a oak in the hopper. Give it a nice oaky flavor to this. And uh, we got our turkey here. So we're gonna put this just straight on the bottom rack here. We got the turkey set up right in the middle here, but we have the thighs facing the uh, heat box here. I want more heat towards that back end because you know it'll take a little bit longer to cook with that dark meat. Uh, now that that's on, time for that awesome basting sauce here so we're just gonna brush this all over this whole thing and we're gonna come out and do this at least a few times throughout the cook just to make sure we get a ton of flavor on this and even on this first one here I'm gonna try and get up under the skin and just make sure that we get some of this all on this breast Check this thing out. That basting sauce 
get just a ton of the, the flavors coming off of that. So uh, we'll see you guys in a few hours. Here we go. It's been total cook time, three and a half hours. We hit that internal temp on the breast of 162. I wanted to pull it off just a few degrees. We're gonna let this rest for about 20 minutes. It should come up the rest of the way and uh, be good to go. Thighs are about 180, which is fine. The dark meat can hold up a little bit better to that heat than the uh, white meat can. So I think we're good to go. This thing looks amazing, smells awesome. Been sitting here chilling for, like I said, three and a half hours. We got, you know, something to do. So we got beer. And uh, today it's one of my favorite local breweries. It's Fall Brewery, and it's actually a, a um, collaboration with Bergeron Beer, which is up in Carlsbad also, both local, really good breweries. Fall's got this sweet little spot in North Park, San Diego, which is kind of like a, I don't know, like a little hipster kind of spot. The brewery's awesome, the beer out of there is even better. And uh, this is a double dry hopped pale ale, and uh, it just is called Domestic. So, see we got, for the hops, Simcoe, Simcoe, Citra, Strata, and Amarillo, and the malts are North American Pilsner, Carafoam. So super simple, straight up malt bill, awesome hops in there. It's a really, really good just pale ale. I, I mean, the IPA or the ABV on this, I don't think is very high. I can't even find it. It's in here somewhere. Five and a half percent. Something sessionable, super chill. Really good beer, like this thing. So uh, let's get to this turkey. We'll get it off, get it rested, and uh, cut into it. So it's been about 15 minutes resting here. Good to go. This thing pulling it off, the, the meat was just so fall off the bone. I mean, it just kind of fell straight off of the, uh, the, the thighs fell straight off the turkey here. So we got our dark meat easily separated at this point because it just came off. Uh, we'll cut off these wings here. And that's one of the great things I love about this uh, spatchcock style chicken, turkey, whatever one you're doing. The, the cook time is way less. This was three and a half hours on a 23 pound turkey. I mean, try and do that on a whole turkey in the oven or in a smoker, it's not gonna happen. And as always, I always just like to take the whole breast off. Okay, we got the breast off here. And the cool thing about doing it this way is too, is you can also just kind of slice, slice the skin and keep it with the, the breast, but check this out. I mean, look how juicy this is. You can see the, the juice is just dripping off of it. Let's give this thing a try. Oh man, that is just absolutely incredible. I mean, my God. that was just absolutely incredible. So juicy, I mean, this is probably the juiciest turkey I've ever had. The flavors from all that buffalo mop sauce that we had that we've been, you know, basting this thing with the entire time. Ton of flavor. Get a lot of that, that Louisiana style Cajun flavor with this. Not your typical turkey, but I'm telling you, for something different, something amazing, this is it. This is probably gonna be my new go-to for turkey. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and chow down on this, guys. We'll see you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> uh, any thumbs up and please ring the bells. We'll see you guys next time. We're barbecuing. Cheers.